wrote it. Hey, riders, how's it going? It's Paul with another ride home review. And this week I am talking about Mother. Uh, Mother stars Jennifer Lawrence, Javier Bardem, Ed Harris, Michelle Pfeiffer, and is directed by Darren Aronofsky. For those who don't know who that is, he did Pie, Requiem for a Dream, The Wrestler, um, Black Swan. And so the film is about uh, a couple that lives in this big house. Um, and uh, the couple is, of course, Javier Bardem and Jennifer Lawrence. And Javier Bardem is a poet, and he has some fans. Uh, some fans show up at first that are kind of a dysfunctional family, and then it kind of goes downhill from there. But the house, ha the house itself has secrets of its own. So, what did I like about it? Well, um, well, of course, you have top-notch actors in the film. First and foremost, they did really well. They did, I mean, they were spectacular. Um, the camera work was awesome. <laughs> it was almost like Jennifer Lawrence had a steady cam on her front the whole time, um, which she didn't, obviously, but the framing of of her and the way they chose to do the the uh, cinematography was very interesting and so it was just um, yeah um, it, it did a lot of since the camera work was the way it was they did really well with the natural lighting um, and so therefore it just was uh, it just felt like you were in the film um, and obviously, of course, they did a lot of, a lot of good job with the editing of it, so that it pieced together this, these movements, and the movements had purpose. Um, so, so there you have it. I mean, it was uh, great actors being able to be choreographed around camera people that were basically in their face, mostly Jennifer Lawrence. It was interesting how they did that how they had her frame the entire film, um, and so on. Uh, what I didn't like was the story was bizarre. Uh, it was filled with little nuggets that you'd have to pay attention to throughout the film, but for the most part, I wasn't really impressed with how the story unfolded and what was going on, and it just was, a little on the weird end, I think a little more weirder than what Darren Aronofsky usually does. Um, uh, so it was just, yeah, it just didn't really make a whole lot of sense. And there was, it just seemed like, you know, from the first, first two acts through the third act, there was just no closure with part of the story. And that really bothered me. There was some, the elements in there weren't returned and it just, yeah, there was just parts of it that just were just like unsolved, unresolved, and it just didn't make much sense in that regard. You could see where things were going, um, and you know, and you when you came to the end, you understand the whole the whole premise of it. But I just didn't like how it was executed, and and it was just a little disjointed. I know that may have been the reason for it to be disjointed, but I, I just didn't feel like parts of that worked. Um, so, and what to watch for. Uh, watch for uh, the connection between Jennifer Lawrence and the house and how that works and what is going on in that with that dynamic. And that one I thought was pretty cool. And if you, if you look at it and watch um, how she interacts with the outside, and how she doesn't interact with the outside. So just watch for that. Um, all in all, I don't know if I would recommend this film, but what did you think? What are your thoughts? Once again, you know, you can follow us uh, or subscribe to YouTube, like us on Facebook, um, follow us on Instagram, we're there. I'd like to hear from you. So until next week, hope you watch something cool. See you next time. Bye.